This is my first hydroponic video. The new setup, I made PVC piping cages. Each one holds two 10 gallon containers, whatever you want to call them. Each tote is surrounded by something called panda film, which is black on the inside and white on the outside. So I just taped it onto the outside of the tote so that it doesn't get uh, too much sun. We have a lot of sun here on the deck. We're in the woods, uh, but the deck gets lots and lots of sun. So I have a canopy top, which early in the season we had totally covered with a shade cloth that was 90%. Now I've got shade cloth on the top that is just 40% because I'm growing mainly lettuce in these boxes. I sewed uh, netting uh, in squares, uh, not neatly, but it does the job, which cover each uh, two totes. And at the bottom of it, I use um, this insulation that you normally has insulation for piping uh, is on the bottom and also holds the netting in pieces like that on the top and on the bottom. Uh, each tote has four lettuces currently growing out of it. As you can see, hopefully, they look very good and very healthy. Mostly romaines and summer, what's, what are known as summer crisps. All different kinds. They are in uh, three-inch net pots instead of the typical uh, two and or what is it one and a half inch net pots except for the ones these large slightly larger totes that have small mini romaines and those have the one and a half inch net pots hopefully you can see those same with the uh, larger tote over here which has six mini romaines which are doing very well I've already harvested uh, one of those I've already harvested two of these uh, Red Joy, although they're not as big in the totes as they are in the buckets, and I'll show you the buckets in a second. These are leaf lettuce, which I've already taken leaves, leaves off of, three different varieties, um, and I already took one out of there. And then in this tote, there's just one, you know, he's not doing so well, but he's still growing. Uh, one little H19 little leaf, and there's his little cucumber right there. Now these, I decided to try the buckets, uh, the Kratky buckets. These two are eggplants. They have the uh, tubing coming up from the bottom of the bucket. These are also all covered with panda film, and it really does help. And these are in those net um, cups that are cover the whole top of the bucket, in the six inch net cups. And I cover them with uh, aluminum foil and just tape them on there so that uh, it doesn't get algae on the top. And these two are um, eggplants. Then we have a, a large buck joy, which is doing really well. A pepper, which is not doing so well, and I'll show you the pepper on the other side, which is doing just fine. has flowers and starting to get peppers. But I would say that the red choy, the large choy, the regular sized choy, does much better in the bucket than in a tote. So I will continue just to do the lettuce in the totes, and I will do the large choy and the eggplant, because these are doing great, um, and the peppers. So I would do choy, peppers, eggplant in the buckets. Same mix, just more of it. And the tubing that's on there is actually for being able to, well, to drain it when you need to. You can see if the level of the uh, nutrient water has gone down too much because the bucket plants, things like eggplants, things like choy, things like peppers, use so much more of the nutrients. 
and I just thought I'd open one up so that you could see how the how the roots are doing. Let's open up the choy here. The baby choy. This is all little baby choys. Very nice. I like how these work. Okay. And all we need, we don't even need to lift the whole cage. We just need to lift the netting. Uh, which is how I harvest as well. Let's see how it's looking in here. Whoop, looking good. I would say it's only gone down a couple of inches, but the I'm hoping you can see that the roots look great. They're white, they're clean. The stuff inside, the nutrient uh, water looks great. Happy with that. Mm, I think that's about it. I think that's about all I've got to say. Oh, I'll show you the pepper. I just put these cages, just drilled some holes in the top uh, of this uh, net bucket here. Drilled some holes in the top and stuck the netting, this uh, cage, right down on it. And then the netting goes on top. This is how I grow most of my stuff, even outside the regular um, things in soil is I use these kinds of cages and I use this kind of, I, I sew netting specifically for these. I, and this, this is uh, bridal veil netting. Uh, you buy it by the bolt, uh, sew it up as fast as you can and it washes, it dries. And what holds it onto the bucket are two of these tiny bungee cords, which when you can find them, buy all you can get uh, because these things are just like gold because they do just that. They hold on the netting and nothing gets inside. So, uh, I guess that's it for now. And this is, by the way, this is three weeks into it, I do believe. Um, they were actually under the lights, uh, growing as seedlings in rock wool for close to, well, I hate to say it, but close to two months. And they've been in here for less than a month. And this is what they look like. So I am extremely happy with this. I will do this again next year. Hopefully increase it. Maybe do one large table like, uh, like the cracky method I've seen elsewhere on the, on the internet with a large styrofoam sheet. Uh, might work real well, but certainly this is just perfect. And I'm now in the process of starting a whole new group of seedlings to be able to uh, do more. So thanks for watching. Hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Um, you're welcome to ask questions. I'll try and answer whatever I can. Thanks. Bye-bye.